Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have today is the unboxing of the Gundam H2 Magnum SV version. So, let's take a look at the cover art. So, looking at the cover art, I can honestly say it's not as impressive as the Gundam H2 Magnum. It do just doesn't have the same kind of feeling, the impact that that one did. Uh, I don't know if maybe it's just because I've seen so many other good cover arts and this one just doesn't take the cake, or maybe it just... This really isn't that great. But nonetheless, uh, I still appreciate the illustration and you know, overall it is decent, just not groundbreaking. This is number 24 in the high grade Bill Divers line. And oddly enough, this is the second kit that I have not seen uh, the price tag on. So I don't know what's going on. The Mobile Doll Sarah did not have the price tag as well. Uh, but I did you know, pick this up for about 2,100 yen if I'm not mistaken. And looking on the side of the box, we are going to have uh, just kind of like different modes and different action poses and everything. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the weapons going to come with. So it has the Sigma Sigmaxis uh, funnels, uh, which are from the age units. There, there was a mobile suit, a vegan suit, that actually had these funnels. Uh, so this kit is going to have these as well. And it's going to have the beam uh, Vulcans right on the side skirts, which is pretty decent. Uh, the F funnels, which the H2 Magnum originally had, and then the Hyper Dodge rifle as well, and then, you know, the shield, of course. It is going to have two different left hands. It's also going to have these little sleds on the feet, which I can only assume it helps it for the atmospheric kind of battle. It also has a Phoenix mode, and then it can go into a grounded mode where you just kind of, you know, pull back the little sleds on the feet, and it can stand appropriately. And here it's telling you it can battle with the Trans Am Heavy Weapon System 00 Sky. Here you get a unpainted version front and back of the kit. And like always you're going to get some description of the actual mobile suit and the pilot plus a little bit of lore. And when we crack this bad boy open you're going to get a lot more runners than the original H2 Magnum actually had. And here we're going to take a look at Runner A. Now this runner is going to be a part of the original H2 Gundam, just obviously uh, recoloring and that's pretty much about it. I think all this is, actually this right here looks the same. I think this might be a darker color and then this is going to be obviously a different color. But yeah, that's just pretty much the original H2 runner. And also another original H2 runner, which I'm pretty sure this is going to be the original coloring. Uh, this is going to be most of your inner frame, you got the extra hand, and the hyper dodge rifle right there. But yeah, this is going to be just the original runner. And here is where we get into the H2 Magnum parts. So this is essentially going to be a lot of the outer armor, you got parts for the F-funnels, uh, the front skirts, and you got parts for like the hyper dodge rifle, so on and so forth. Uh, you got the head part, which that is actually going to be replaced because you get a new little head piece. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. It's a very nice, uh, almost like a very bluish gray, I would say. It's almost bluish gray. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a decent color. I, I actually kind of wish um, that I really wanted to paint this. Maybe in the future I'll paint it. But the color isn't bad. I just kind of really prefer maybe a different color gray. And the next H2 Magnum runner is going to be two Runner J's. Uh, some of these are not going to be used. I believe you're going to have one of these extra shields right here. Uh, but you're going to have parts for the leg. you got parts for the shoulders, the feet. Uh, I think there's more yeah, parts for the feet right here. Uh, but you're just going to keep uh, these you know, little shield parts. So I don't really have to worry about that. But yeah, pretty much a normal looking white. And the last runners for the H2 Magnum is going to be the clear bits, obviously for the shield, as well as for the F funnels. And moving on to new runners for this kit is going to be runner O. Uh, I believe this should be for uh, the new funnels uh, that's gonna be you know, pretty much attached to the backpack of this, so yeah. And here we have runner M, which is gonna be for those funnels, as well as the kind of like leg sleds. Uh, this looks like it's gonna be a new attachment for the backpacks, that way, so that way you can actually connect the funnels uh, to these pegs. And here is that new uh, kind of like V-fin, you know, faceplate right there. So it does not look bad whatsoever if you can, if it actually wants to zoom in on it. But yeah, looks pretty good uh, overall, just two of these runners. So we got one more runner. And here is going to be the last runner, which is runner N. So mostly just inner frame stuff. Uh, this is going to be the new stand attachment because this is going to be a fairly tall kit with the sleds attached. And then you're going to have the little side Vulcans right here and just all, you know, ultimately just little bits uh, here and there. So this is going to be for the, um, the side skirts as well and just other little inner frame parts. But yeah, this is the last of the new uh, runners as well as the last of the main runners for this kit. And of course you get your polycap sheet. 
two nifty beam sabers, a clear runner, a clear stand, and a very small sticker sheet which we will not be using because I'm probably just going to go ahead and paint all this anyways. And here is the manual, so nothing too crazy here. And if you want to read all this information, you can go ahead and pause right here. So yeah, you get your basic color guide all inside here, just the construction. Obviously, this is going to be constructed very, 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 very similar to the H2 Magnum. The only difference is you're building some new funnels, some, uh, some new uh, side skirts, as well as just adding a new little headpiece and then building the little sleds. But other than that, you get all this information right here. Obviously, the material uh, mobile suit is going to be the H2 Magnum. Uh, not really too much of a difference of this kit you know, versus the H2 Magnum, but... Um, you know, it's it's a little bit, it's a welcoming addition, and I do like the aesthetic, I do like the color, I like the new funnels, so I'm actually completely fine with it. Um, I do think the new transformation is a little bit overkill, it's a little bit more bulky than what I would like it. I did really, really enjoy the sleek design of the original, uh, you know, just the H2 or the H2 Magnum's transformation. I thought it looked super, super good. Uh, but nonetheless, it's still a great transformation, and here's going to be your color guide in the case you want to uh, color it to the Canon colors. Uh, me, I would probably just deviate a little bit uh, from the shading of these colors, um, so that that light gray, I'm just not too into it. Um, I'll probably just change that maybe to a darker uh, tone gray. Uh, and the body, I don't, I don't like this kind of weird purple. Um, so I'll probably change that as well. But everything else looks, you know, pretty fine. Like the the, the gray, I would obviously change that to more of a. Um, probably a gunmetal but nonetheless that's it guys so uh, definitely thank you for watching I should have this complete in a few days um, much like the mobile with all Sarah it's not really gonna take me too much of, of a long time but um, it just make sure you keep on watching on my channel and I might just be posting some uh, live streams pretty soon uh, but that's it guys thanks for watching I'll be seeing y'all in the next video bye bye